nice carbon fiber body, don't you think? It's just tar paper. <laughs> Had an extra roll kicking around. I just wanted to see what this thing looks like. And it's giving me an idea where to put the uh, paneling, what angles here, up in the rear and up front, how the vision is in here. It's not too bad. I'm still on the fence whether or not I'm going to use this canopy or not. It's old, kind of scratched up a bit, and it's tinted. might not pass the Washington State uh, rules and regs. For uh, I know some, I think this state here uh, won't allow you to have tinted windshield. You can have tinted glass all around, but not the windshield. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, may just have a partial here, have this open. Just planed around. This would be the ultimate aerodynamic shape, though, for sure. So I'd have a lot of headroom if I get like a skull cap instead of a full blown helmet. It'd give me more room to reach a dashboard here. That's why I wanted the uh, floor opening here, so I can do Flintstone Reverse. Here's an emergency way of getting out if I need to. Now, it's not too well if I get into a T-bone accident. I don't have much protection, but going back and forth of what I want to do here. Add more weight, add more safety features, or it's only a Yamaha 185. It's not a lot of poop. So at this point, I got to be careful how much uh, extra weight I want to add to this thing. And there's the frame. Right now, all the pedals are just kind of um, mocked up on this piece of paneling, but Gives me an idea of where these are going to be. And I welded on the tabs. Installed the cables. I made the accelerator kind of narrow so I can just swing it over to the brake. And here's my clutch. Why isn't the clutch here or over here? Well, I decided to put the shifter down here. And in order to do that, I got to release my hand from this guy. And if I'm going anywhere, I want this hand in total control. This won't even have a handle at all. It's just there right now. But I'll have all the controls here. I also hooked up the rear brakes. And this goes up to my right hand lever. Um, here too, I've um, put a new seat in. This is going to get me about an inch and a half lower than the old seat. my uh, bending brake for my roll bar. I know what I forgot to do. <sighs> well, I won't do that again. Forgot to secure the end of the tube. Drill the hole and put a big screw in there so it shouldn't. Do what it just did. So here's my setup, two half inch pieces of scrap, screwed together, two by four, screw in the end, yeah. Well, this isn't perfect, I can tell right now. 
We have some lumps and bumps. That one noticeably. Check my spring valve. Perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect, but um, I'm going to go with it. I'll just bang on that, maybe take that little dent out as long as I can. Crowbar. So I use a uh, kind of this white painted surface particle board for my tabletop. Pretty stout. I like it. I've used it here and in my other place in Stanwood. It's pretty handy. You can draw images on it. You can write figures, drill holes, screw on parts like I just did here. And it's nice too to weigh it down so you can um, bend tubing like I'm doing to it. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one. No kinks or anything. Now I'll go uh, where my dashboard's going. Here's the nose. There it is, boys and girls. We're at about 248 pounds. I have yet to do a gas tank, gas, body, all the electrical. It's going to get darn near up 300. I'm going to do some weight trimming here. Don't be shocked. I'm going to replace it with aluminum. Curious to know how much that weighs. Let's see if I just weigh myself. Right about 184, 200, that's 16 pounds. Yeah. 16 pounds and I think it'll only be like two to three pounds of aluminum that I'll need to uh, finish this guy off and bring it back to where it was. I won't have the rear end crash protection, but let's face it, this being a small motor, I got to start trimming the fat. Here, there, I gotta lose some weight. It wouldn't hurt. So this week I got the pedals. I got the front end there, a little nose. Got the dashboard roll bar there. Uh, rear brake hooked up. And we got the roll bar. Still haven't got the supports for that. Trimmed off 16 pounds, but I'll be adding a few more pounds a little later. Next week I should have it all welded up, and hopefully we can go for a coast test. Stay tuned. See ya.